Today I'm going to show you how I've done my fridge mount uh, in my 2009 120 series D4D Parado. Now in the back I've replaced the original carpet with some marine carpet. I did that a while ago, a few years ago. I've purchased a 60 litre ARB fridge and I've gone to Bunnings, I've bought some form ply. This form ply is 2400mm by 1200mm, I think it's about 17 or 18mm thick. Now it's got like a thin laminate on both sides, uh, as you can see black in colour. Now that costs $81 I think, I've also got some U-bolts. And how I'm going to mount this ply is by utilising these anchor points here for the rear seating by uh, means of these U-bolts. I'll just go through like so. Now I've also had a rubber liner I've used as a template to make this. Now what I've done, I've also got a router. I've routed a rounded edge along this side. But also underneath, I've put a, a chamfer on it if you like. Now that makes it fit a lot easier. Because if you look on this edge, if I just cut it straight up and down, that's how it will look. I'll have a really big gap along there. With the chamfer, it's not so bad. I can also put a bit of foam around the edging, so if stuff falls down, I can get it out relatively easy. Okay, this is the reverse side of the panel. I'm using uh, T-nuts, T-double-E nuts. Uh, these are going to be for the ARB fridge slide. I've also slotted out this. Uh, so I can pass through the, the U-bolts and you'll see later how I'm going to do that. I've also made up some plates that I go on top of that to spread the way when I bolt it down. So that's what I'm going to do now. Now this is how it fits inside the vehicle. Uh, if I knew what I knew beforehand I would have extended this edge a bit more. Uh, just so it hugs this when I put a chamfer on it. I am going to put a, just a thin strip of foam around in there. So if I spill anything, I can easily get it out. Also, this point here, I would have gone straight across instead of right angles like I've done. I was going to put a thin strip of foam under here to prevent sand and rubbish getting in there. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's the template I used. Uh, it's the cardboard from the packaging off the fridge. Now, I've put the panel in place. These are the steel brackets I made up. They're 5mm steel, 50mm wide and about 360mm long. Now for the U-bolts, I put a knot on each end of the cord. I've cut this end off. Taped one end to the inside of the U-bolt, so on this side. So one was taped down the shaft of the U-bolt on that side, one on the inside on this side. I've threaded that cord up underneath through the slot so it was hanging out of the board, like so. And uh, as I've laved the board, I've pulled on these to pull the U-bolts up through the slot that's in this panel. Uh, I've then taken the cordage off the U-bolt. I've held it like this to hold the U-bolt in place while I put these metal brackets over the top and, uh, and bolted them in. So now I'm just going to torque all that up, uh, line it all up correctly and put the fridge slide on. Now it might be a bit dark here because I've put the seats back but that's the fridge slide in. I'm going to put a bit of paint on them. Uh, just to get there behind the seats, that's fine. I'll just mount the fridge in there. I've sort of ran a strip of double sided foam there. And as I said, I'll, next, if I did this again, I would have gone straight across because there's a small gap in there, but can't be perfect. Alright, I'll put the fridge in and see how that looks. Okay, that's everything. Two note. Uh, as I stated at the start, I'm using the GoPro. 
I don't have the screen on the back to see where this actually is pointing, so I'm just playing it by ear. Uh, that's the mount there. Now, I did have a case in this RB. I've taken it off because there's a lot of condensation behind it uh, that I noticed uh, just from running it outside, so I've just taken it off to dry it out. Uh, as you can see here, I'm going to purchase another slide, exact same fridge. They want to be a freezer, want to be a fridge. Freezer will be on this side. They'll be ready to go in at a later date. Uh, just the four bolts to mount the slide in. I'm going to try and do this with one hand. So there you go. That's open. Now you can see there. I like this tie down system, it's very good. This is aluminium. And there you have it. I've taken the bolts out of the feet here, which they suggest you're going to permanently mount it. I just put the two front ones in just to help line up the fridge lengthways before putting the actual tight ends on. I'll have a look, let's put this back. Uh, actually, while it's out, I'll open it up. The door actually remains open when it's open at full extent. So that's vertical there. I like the size of the, uh, the fridge. It's got the two shelving. It's also got a partition here. LED light here. And a handle pretty good in the, uh, the high humid and uh, high temperature conditions that we're currently experiencing being in the wet season. So have a quick look at the back. So there it is there. Now I've also ordered a cable chain or drag chain it's they use it on CNC machines and that will be placed under here uh, and I'll place the cable inside that I've already ran the cable down the side of the vehicle the backbone cable so once that cable chain comes in I'll mount the cable on it and I'll do an additional video on that now this video is showing access to the jack, so hand in there, that's enough clearance to get the jack out if required, uh, worst case we can always remove the fridge. I'll just show you at the back where the seat is, to show you how much room there is there as well. I'll show you how dark this is, but hopefully you can see how much room there is behind the seat there. When I install the cable chain, it'll come along and up and back. So there'll be enough room for that, but uh, we'll see. Thank you. The only thing that needs to be done besides installing the second fridge is a shelving system. I'm going to use a system called Easy Join. You purchase it uh, from a company in Sydney. Not sure of the name, but you can Google it. There is a similar system at Bunnings. It's pretty much utilises 25 by 25 boxed aluminium tubing it's approximately 1.2 mil in thickness uh, which is a bit too thin for this application the stuff I wish to get is 1.7 mil uh, wall thickness and it's just a matter of three legs down the side the middle and the other side shelf comes along and I'll have a half cargo barrier to stop objects moving forward. Now the shelf will start when the lid finishes obviously. So the shelving will start here and work our way back. And it's only mainly for light items and so on. The rest of the stuff will be in the camper trailer. And that's it. As I stated before, I just need to do one more video when I get the uh, cable tray system. Thank you.